The mufflers for the Endemore are two pieces and they're Loctited together with pretty solid Loctite, but um, I did heat them up pretty extensively on my gas stove. Um, and once I had them pretty hot, I just quenched them with water and that thermal shock and heat is enough to break the um, Loctite that was in there. So uh, I did that because I didn't know if these were threaded on or not and I couldn't get them to loosen up without some heat so I heated them up and got them to come apart and they are not threaded which I'm a little disappointed they're not threaded but such is life. Um, now that hole in there is Smaller than an eighth, so it's going to fit as a 764th, huh? All right, I'm going to try running a drill bit through there and see if they, uh, I can get those plugs out. Yeah, that is lining up straight through, but I'm not feeling it, the drill grab in there on those plugs. So I guess we'll uh, try to punch them out somewhere else. All right, uh, I put these caps back in place. Um, in order so I wouldn't lose track of them while I was moving the engine around uh, But it's time to put the crank back in um, The first round of modifications for this black engine more are just basic uh, the push rod Shoe uh, is the main thing that I'm gonna put together and test and getting it on this base so um, just and then we'll once we know it works we'll take it apart and probably do some more modifications to it but for now make sure that our oil holes are up And the black there. Get the black teeth that I marked on the two gears to line up. And then it should be Set this back on and check it real quick for timing.
so there's bottom dead center top dead center for ignition the power stroke and then the exhaust stroke and then it closes and intake perfect so that seems to be right where it, I did get it lined back up with my marked teeth just right uh, we'll put these screws in and then I'm going to put the yellow flywheels on and I'm not going to worry about lining them up because this is only getting put together uh, long enough to assemble it to the base and test it and then once I have that have it assembled and uh, run in a little bit uh, I have a few other ideas to try to see if we can really slow this down so uh, but first things first we'll assemble it to this official base and test it out occurs to me I should have brought some batteries out to test this. But the space obviously was not designed for you to get all this wire under here. It was designed to coil the wire up underneath the base of the engine. So I will have to figure something out about how to coil that wire under there but for now it fits and looks pretty good um, I think that because the ground wire comes up through the base here I will probably ground on the head somewhere but. Got that in place. Let's get our fuel tank mounted. It's coming together so it will only need a very short piece of fuel line here but uh, and then there's a hole for a switch that the ignition module didn't come with but I have some switches from other projects so I'll have to add a switch on there uh, as we work right now I'm just gonna get this assembled and 
be ready to test it relatively soon, so. Get all that cram in there. There we go. That's spinning, and we'll just get just pop this one head bolt out and put the ground underneath it. Aha! This fuel tank is mounted just right so that it interferes with a straight shot on one of the head bolts. But I don't think there's a way to mount this where it wouldn't interfere with one of the head bolts, so such is life. go. We've got compression. So, should be able to test this. Excellent. Hmm, this is a different style fuel line than the stuff that came with the original engine more. The original had a piece of silicone, uh, like nitro style soft rubber fuel line, and this is clear plastic like vinyl. But that will be good enough for testing when we get out to test it.